Hello, welcome to this video on permutations. We're going to be doing this two different ways. One will return a list of all permutations. One will, one function will return the list. One function will yield the permutations one at a time. So, for the first function, it's going to require in factorial space. For the second function, it is going to require constant space. So, let's see how these work. Uh, we got a base case here. We'll return nothing. So, the list has nothing, we return nothing. The list has one element, we return that as a list. Um, putting this, these brackets here and make, forcing this into a list will help uh, later. So here's the list, bigger list we actually want to return. So basically for permutations what we need to do is go through pick out each element and then prepend that element to the permutations of all remaining elements. It's kind of a mouthful. Observe. Okay, so x is the first element xs is going to be all elements up to but not including this first element x and then all elements after so this is going to be what we're interested in this is going to be the rest so we need to recursively call permutations on everything that's left and then, well, we don't have to name it anything. So x plus p. So, like most things, using recursion, it looks magic and you have to believe in it. But <clears throat> if you add print statements economically and strategically you can follow through at each step and convince yourself that this is correct so let's get a little test data Okay, those look like the six permutations of a list with three elements. So, let's see if that works. Yes. 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 So, as you can see, this takes a little longer each time we run it. This might take a while. Alright, I believe that this algorithm is correct. Now, for the second function, it's going to look almost like the first, only we need to add some yield statements. We don't need 
that. Alright. So, let's just see what this looks like. same permutations, but perm2 uses almost no memory. It's constant. It pretty much requires some overhead for the function and maintaining like a handful of very small lists. Whereas this function builds everything up at once and returns it at once. So for small lists, um, these are equivalent, but for larger lists, if you don't want to run out of RAM, I recommend using this with generator functions. So, thank you very much.